हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर लक्ष्मण नायक वर्किंग एज साइंटिस्ट एट डायरी केमिस्ट्री डिवीजन आईसीआर नेशनल डायरी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट करनाल हरियाणा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाई हाइड्रोसैटिक प्रेशर टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर द पेपर principle of food processing and preservation dear students these days non thermal or minimal processing techniques are gaining more importance over the routinely used thermal processing like pasteurization sterilization so high hydrostatic pressure technology is one among them it is also called as high pressure processing or ultra high pressure processing so let us discuss what is this high hydrostatic pressure technology we'll also, we'll also cover the working principle its components means what are the requirements for the high hydrostatic pressure technology we'll cover food safety aspects effects on food components packaging requirements and we'll also discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of high hydrostatic process technology coming to the objectives we'll discuss about high hydrostatic pressure processing and the next objective is advantages of high hydrostatic pressure processing what is high hydrostatic pressure technology high hydrostatic pressure technology in short hhp is a novel food processing technique wherein the food is subjected to a very high pressure with or without the addition of heat so the main objective is to achieve the microbial inactivation or to alter the food attributes in order to achieve the consumer desired qualities and to render the safe food hhp is an alternate non thermal food processing method in which the food products are exposed to a very high pressure range from 100 to 800 megapascals so for example here 1 megapascal is equal to 10 bar pressure high hydrostatic pressure is also called as a high pressure processing in short hpp it is also called as ultra high pressure processing in short uhpp it is also called as isostatic processing and it is considered as a one of the cold processing techniques since temperature employed in the most of the high hydrostatic pressure is at ambient temperature the concept of food processing using high hydrostatic pressure was proposed by royer in 1895 the objective was to kill the bacteria later in 1899 by hite he explored the high hydrostatic pressure effects on milk meat fruit and vegetable processing in the early 1990s commercial high hydrostatic pressure processed food products like fruit juices jams fruit toppings and tenderized meats were introduced for the first time in japan's industry in tokyo let us discuss the principles of high hydrostatic pressure processing the fundamental operational principles underlying underlining the high hydrostatic pressures are described below so it has four principle one is lechetrel principle second one is isostatic rule third one is electrostriction and fourth one is compression of energy and heat let us discuss one by one uh, lechetrel principle whenever pressure is applied to a system in equilibrium biomolecules obey the lechetrel principle the system will react so as to counteract with the applied pressure and the Re reaction that result in the reduced volume will be promoted to under high pressure and such reactions may result in the inactivation of microorganisms and enzymes so moving to the second uh, principle isostatic rule according to the isostatic principle when food products are compressed by uniform pressure from every direction and then returned to their original stage and the pressure is released in that case food products are compressed independently of the product size and geometry because the transmission of pressure to the core is not a mass by time dependent hence high hydrostatic pressure is also called as isostatic processing 
moving to the third principle electro restriction according to this pressure uh, this principle pressure leads to the increased ionization because water molecules arrange more compact around the electric charges and this results in the more or less pronounced negative and reversible ph shift depending on the chemical nature of the buffer and the biomolecules reactions are controlled and the fourth principle compression of energy and heat so every input energy input during the pressure process is very small compared to that of thermal process therefore no chemical reactions involving the covalent bonds are observed usually high hydrostatic pressure is accompanied by a moderate increase in the temperature by the ad ad adiabatic heating this depends on the composition of food uh, food product and is being pro uh, processed so let us say each food compounds has a specific heat of compression and hydrostatic pressure is generated by the increase in the free energy in the system and this can be achieved by the physical compression during the pressure treatment in the closed system by a mechanical volume reduction so all these um, principles uh, together explains the working of high hydrostatic processing components and working of high hydrostatic pressure processing so in this uh, we have represented two diagrams first left which is in the left side is uh, regarding the working components of the high hydrostatic pressure system and in the right side we have represented how a product undergoes the process, uh, pressure uh, processing so the main key components are a high pressure system it has the high pressure vessel pressurizing system and supporting units such as heating and cooling components it also has a piston so which generates the pressure and food products are exposed to high pressure in the second diagram that's right side diagram how the pressure is transmitted throughout the food system is represented so pressure is transmitted uniformly throughout the system so as we explained in the earlier according to those four principles pressure is uniformly transmitted and the product gets processed in a typical high hydrostatic pressure process the product is packaged in a flexible container usually a pouch or plastic bottle and is then loaded into a high pressure chamber filled with the pressure transmitting that is hydraulic fluid initially air is removed from the vessel with the automatic deaeration valve by means of a low pressure fast fill and dry pump the hydraulic fluid normally water in the chamber is pressurized with a pump and this pressure is transmitted through the package into the food itself pressure is applied for a specific time usually 3 to 5 minutes the processed product is then removed and stored and distributed as per the conventional manner processing by high hydrostatic pressure is carried out usually in a low compressible liquid such as water according to the earlier explained principle the phenomena of phase transition and chemical changes are accompanied by decrease in volume which is favored by the pressure pressure is instantaneously and uniformly transmitted independent of size and geometry of the food thus the resultant pressure regulates the most of the biochemical reactions which are occurring in the food system consequently the food which retains its shape even at extreme pressure and because no heat is needed for the processing hence the sensory characteristics of the foods are retained without compromising the microbial safety comparison of high hydrostatic processing with other processing methods in a qualitative approach process efficiency is assessed in terms of the lethality of the treatment and its structural impact on food matrix evidently those treatments which are powerful in killing microbes have usually a strong destructive effect on the integrity of the food matrix with severe consequence on the quality and consumer acceptance 
this high hydrostatic pressure processing is characterized by three parameters temperature capital T pressure P and exposure time T these three parameter uh, high hydrostatic pressure process offers broad variability for process design and enhance the shelf life as explained in this table so here we have compared with drying smoking salting fermentation and the general heating irradiation and pulse electric field so in the parameter table we have uh, given the time temperature and concentration of that uh, particular additive fermentation microbial load all the parameters are compared in the intensity table the impact of heating is compared and this high hydrostatic uh, pressure uh, gives that it's uh, low intense and in terms of lethality so it is as compared to that of pulsed electric field and in uh, compared to the structural impact it is not much uh, effective in the structural impact and the cost of production is as uh, uh, compared to that of uh, irradiation and it is much more better than that of normal drying process. Dear students, let us discuss about high hydrostatic pressure processing and its food safety. Microbial destruction is the main objective of food processing and the beneficial effect of high pressure processing in food are evident only the applied pressure is above the 400 megapascal here 1 megapascal is equal to 10 bar atmospheric pressure so high hydrostatic pressure inactivates most of the spoilage and pathogenic bacteria present in the food resistance of microorganism to pressure varies and it depend on the applied pressure temperature extent that is the duration of pressure treatment and obviously the type of microorganisms associated with the food system nature of the food is also one of the important parameter as some food components may contain the substance which protects the microorganisms from high pressure so now let's discuss the different types of microorganisms how they affect with the pressure generally gram positive bacteria are most resistant to pressure than the gram negative bacteria and yeast and molds it is due to the presence of thicoic acid a thicoic acid is a bacterial polysaccharide coming to the other aspect on the other hand the spores are more resistant than the vegetative cells because it contains a calcium rich dipicolonic acid this calcium rich dipicolonic acid protects from excessive ionization heat resistant group of microorganisms are usually pressure resistance so it is almost equivalent and the exponential phase cells are more pressure resistant than that of uh, stationary phase as we see in the uh, growth curve so at the exponential phase these are more resistant than this uh, stationary phase and the number of yeast molds cyclotrophs and coliforms get inactivated more rapidly than that of acidic and high resistance bacteria and proteolytic microorganisms vegetative bacterial cells are inactivated by pressure between 400 and 600 megapascal the inactivation of virus is supposed to depends on the denaturation of capsid proteins these are essential for host cell attachment the cell membrane of this microorganisms at high pressure gets affected and most of the membrane materials uh, interrupted in the within the cell this gets 
expelled upon the application of uh, high pressure and it is mainly due to the expansion of lipid bilayer and that leads uh, that uh, leads to the release of this material with the applied pressure and which ultimately leads to the destruction and then cell member cell membrane uh, integrity it gets collapsed and therefore they cannot reproduce once the damaged cells are unable to control the transport of water ions across this membrane and this leads to the collapse of the cell effect on food components high hydrostatic pressure techniques enables sub zero food processing without ice crystal formation because the depression in freezing point of water and compression of water water content of the food is observed it is also observed that change in the distribution of minerals between colloidal and diffusible phases is observed and the ionization ionization uh, state is also occurred high hydrostatic pressure reduces the time period required to induce the fat crystallization so most of the fat rich products can also be processed using this concept coming to the sense uh, sensitivity of different bonds to high hydrostatic pressure so here we are discussing about the protein uh, products protein rich products so in this the hydrophobic bonds then electrostatic bonds then hydrogen bonds and covalent bond so covalent bond is most uh, sensitive for the different uh, high hydrostatic pressure processing among uh, the enzymes enzymes will at sufficiently high pressure undergoes conformational changes and thus they lose the activity so covalent bonds are almost unaffected as we discussed in the earlier slide and earlier points hence the primary structure of proteins remains intact and the color flavor and nutritional quality of the food remains unchanged shelf life and regulatory requirements on high hydrostatic process processed products in general high hydrostatic processing can extend the shelf life by 2 to 3 folds over the non pasteurized counterpart and this improve the food safety so high hydrostatic process can provide the shelf life similar to that of thermal pasteurization the pressure pasteurization kills vegetative bacteria and unless the product is acidic it requires the refrigerator storage for foods with thermal pasteurization is not an option due to the flavor texture and color changes high hydrostatic pressure processing is an best option as commercial products are developed based on the shelf life and uh, the it is established based on the microbial and sensory uh, attributes so high hydrostatic uh, processing does not represent any unique issues for the food processors Uh, with uh, regard to regulatory matters or labeling requirements hence the requirements for this high hydrostatic processing uh, products are similar to that of traditional thermal pasteurization or sterilization packaging requirements for high hydrostatic processing technology the patch packaging requirement for this technology has different consideration uh, two consideration are whether the product is processed in container or the it is packed and then it is processed so for batch in container processing flexible or partially rigid packaging is best suited on the other hand fluid products requires continuous or semi continuous system which are aseptically packaged after pressure treatment the effectiveness of high hydrostatic pressure is greatly influenced by the physical and mechanical properties of the packaging material the packaging material must be able to withstand the operating pressure encompasses good sealing properties and ability to prevent quality deterioration during the application of pressure at least one interface of the packaging should be flexible enough to transmit the pressure thus rigid metals glass or plastic containers cannot be used for the packaging materials 
most commonly used packaging materials for high hydrostatic processing uh, foods are polypropylene polyester tubes polyethylene pouches and nylon cast polypropylene pouches plastic packaging materials are the best suited for high hydrostatic processing packaging application because of reversible response to compression flexibility and resiliency the head space must be minimized uh, while sealing the packaging in order to ensure the efficient utilization of the package as well as the space with the preserved vessel packaging material for HP, high hydrostatic pressure must be flexible to withstand at least 15% increase in the volume followed by a return up to the original size and without losing the physical integrity sealing or barrier properties in this slide let us discuss which type of uh, food can be processed using high hydrostatic processing any food with sufficient moisture can be subjected under high hydrostatic pressure like any other processing method high hydrostatic process cannot be universally applied to all food products so it has to contain the minimum uh, moisture so this technique can be used to process both liquid as well as solid foods except for those food material which contains the large quantity of air packets so here we have given the example of watermelon watermelon has different structure it has the uh, air packets so those products which is having such type of air packets they cannot be processed using uh, high hydrostatic processing and food with high acid contents are particularly good candidates for high, high hydrostatic pressure technology so those are those food products which are sensitive for this thermal processing those can be uh, easily processed using uh, this high hydrostatic processing like uh, milk uh, cholesterol milk uh, fruit juices this can be easily uh, processed using high hydrostatic processing because here the impact of heat is not considered in this high hydrostatic process so it is a minimal processing technology hence uh, these are the ideal candidate for the high hydrostatic process technology let's discuss about the advantages of high hydrostatic process technology so some of the advantages of high hydrostatic process technology are as follows man was significant reduction of heating this will minimize the thermal degradation of food components second is it retains the natural antimicrobial systems without altering the sensory and nutritional quality of food and it extends the shelf life up to two to three folds it also inactivates the microorganisms spores and enzymes there will be higher rate of retention of flavor color and nutritional value as compared to other processing techniques pressure is transmitted uniformly and instantly so that the food product retains its shape and then coming to the next point it is a potential for design of new products due to creation of new texture taste functional properties it is a one of the clean technology it is a flexible system and can be extended to number of products and number of operation like fish milk food, fruits fruit juice anything in this process time is very less and it is independent of product shape so that any type of product can be processed the reduced requirement of chemical additives in this there is no need of any additives and hence it increased the bioavailability of high hydrostatic processed foods and this can be kept for longer period under the better condition so small molecules which are the characteristic of flavoring and nutritional compounds are typically remain unchanged and unaffected by the applied 
pressure. So high hydrostatic pressure causes minimal changes in the fresh characteristics of the food and eliminates the thermal degradation. So it is a one of the minimal process technology. When compared to the thermal processing, high hydrostatic pressure processing results in the food with fresher taste, better appearance, texture and in terms of good nutritional quality. High hydrostatic pressure processing can be conducted at ambient or refrigeration temperature. Thereby it eliminates the thermally induced cooked off flavors. The technology is especially beneficial for the heat sensitive products. These are the main benefit of high hydrostatic pressure processing and the processing includes the inactivation of microorganisms, structural modification of proteins and depression freezing point. These are the uh, talking about the components levels and this could be advantageously used in several segments of food industry including seafood, meat and dairy industry. So it is one of the versatile processing technology. Let us discuss about the disadvantages of high hydrostatic pressure processing. There are few drawbacks with high hydrostatic pressure processing technology. These includes the food must contain water as the whole phenomenon is based on the compression. So those food products which are the high moisture content, water content, those are ideally suitable and others it cannot be processed using high hydrostatic pressure. Some enzymes are very pressure resistant. So enzymes they are brought about the most of the biochemical reactions hence enzymes inactivation is the ideal there are few enzymes are marker for the spoilage pathogenic hence so we have to be careful while uh, hand, uh, uh, deciding the high hydrostatic pressure processing and what type of uh, important improvements we need to brought so that has to be considered and it may not inactivate the spores so most of the spores are uh, spoilage ca causing or uh, pathogens Hence, this is in this case some spores cannot be uh, inactivated and uh, structurally fragile foods need special attention. So some foods are very crispy in nature. So if we subject the, such food products to uh, high hydrostatic pressure processing then they may lose the its structural, uh, structural uh, properties. So these are not uh, ideal suited and the last point is high installation cost it may cost more than 5 crore for the handling of uh, uh, 5 to 10 kg products so these are the main disadvantages of high hydrostatic pressure technology in this slide we have uh, given a pilot scale high pressure processing equipment so this high pressure isolab system model e fpg this uh, manufactured by the standard fluid power limited UK and this unit is about 5 liter capacity and it can be operated up to a pressure of 800 mega Pascal. This image of this uh, pilot scale high pressure processing equipment is presented uh, it is a courtesy of department of food science and technology the OU state university. So let us see where the high hydrostatic pressure equipments are available in India. So as per my knowledge uh, fish processing division at Indian Council of Agriculture Research Central Institute of Fish uh, Processing Technology Cochin Kerala and another one is at IIT Kharagpur and the images uh, represented in these slides are from ICR CAFT Kochi this in this uh, uh, they are processing the fish products even milk products are also using this high pressure processing technology. Dear students, finally let me conclude the topic. High hydrostatic pressure processing technique has emerged as one of the best and alternative processing over the other thermal processing. This technique 
offers many advantages. Major advantages is significant reduction of heating. This will minimize the thermal degradation of food components. It improves the sensory and nutritional attributes. These are retained without altering the quality of food. High hydrostatic pressure processed food have shown to provide better texture, color and other sensory properties as compared to that of heat processed food. This technology has great potential in development of new generation and value added functional and nutraceutical foods. So as we discussed it can be used for the heat sensitive products like colostrum, fruit juice, uh, uh, food products which are of acid, acidic in nature and any type of food products those are uh, having the uh, sensitive towards the thermal degradation can be processed using the high pressure processing. So it has got uh, many advantages over the non-thermal processing uh, over the thermal processing and thank you for listening.